What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and welcome back to another news roundup. And to kick us off is a juicy little piece of news that may just give us an idea of what Nintendo might have planned for their next portable gaming hardware or their up and coming quality of life platform. So it is being reported in Japan that a partnership is close to confirmation between Sharp and Nintendo where Sharp will supply them with advanced LCDs for future Nintendo hardware. And the advanced LCD that Sharp will be supplying Nintendo with is called the Freeform Display which gives you the freedom to design the LCD to match whatever the shape the display area needs to be. If you want your LCD to be a circle, it can be a circle. It doesn't have to be the conventional rectangular display. It is being reported that Sharp is set to mass produce these freeform displays in early 2016, and Nintendo is apparently set to be the first major client for these screens. And wouldn't you know, the sleep sensor for their quality of life platform is set to release in 2016. Maybe these correlate somehow. And it's also being said that one of Nintendo's designs incorporates a screen with the hole in the center. Maybe like a donut. We don't know. Now there is a chance that Nintendo might use this freeform display for their next portable gaming hardware after the 3DS, but this whole talk of a screen with a hole in the center seems like it might be more fitting for the quality of life platform. I mean there could be a circular LCD with a hole in the middle and that's where the knob can go and you can do a little twisty twisty and stuff. I don't know. But as of right now we're just going to have to keep speculating and wait and see if the supposed partnership actually goes through. But in other news is that Koji Kondo, who you might know as that music dude who's made tunes for Mario's and Zelda's, has revealed when talking to familiar that in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, they will be using the same music from the N64 release. Now, Nintendo has cleaned up the audio quality and did some rebalancing so it actually sounds good on the 3DS, but the music itself hasn't changed. So if you were hoping that Nintendo would go the extra mile and redo some of the music tracks, maybe make some of them orchestral, apparently Nintendo's not doing that. It would have been nice if Nintendo did make some orchestral music for the Majora's Mask 3D remake, but oh well, at least I can still listen to the wonderful Clock Town theme. from Zelda though is that if you're still spending hundreds of dollars on the Cash Cow but franchise known as Skylanders, you may be happy to know that they will be introducing two entirely new elements, light and dark. So Activision will be releasing two expansion packs for Skylanders Trap Team at all major retailers worldwide, but apparently Toys R Us is getting it first on December 21st, but there will be an expansion pack for light and an expansion pack for dark. Now each elemental quest pack contains a trap master, a special trap capable of capturing either light or dark villains, as well as a location piece that unlocks a special level in the game. And each of these expansion packs will cost $29.99, so if you want both of them, that will be $60. It's raining money or Activision, yeah, raining money. And as a way to round this video off is a couple of release dates. One, WayForward has confirmed that Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which is already available on the 3DS eShop, will be coming to the Wii U eShop in North America on December 25th for $20. And secondly, the third wave of Amiibo, which includes Shulk, Bowser, Toon Link, Lucario, blah 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 and so on, will be releasing in Australia and New Zealand on January 29th. All 11 figurines will be releasing on that day. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And you can stay tuned for more videos in the future. Don't forget to go check out my Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge that I'm doing. There are new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I will talk to you in the next video, guys. Bye! But as of right now... <coughs> <laughs>